Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to download and use Utopia Angel with the game Utopia and with Utopia Pimp. First, you're going to want to download Utopia Angel and that can be done at this website right here. And I'm going to have this in the description. And once you get to this website, you're going to click on download right here. And you're going to choose the server that's closest to you for the best and fastest speeds. I live on the East Coast, so the Atlanta, Georgia one's the closest to me. So you just click on that. This will pop up saying your download should start at any moment. If it doesn't for whatever reason, just click right here. So let's give it a couple seconds. There it is. Now from here, you're just going to click Save File. Once it downloads, you're going to click on this and it'll run and install automatically and don't need to do anything other than maybe tell it where else to go instead of the default folder. So I don't need to do that because I already have it installed. But once it is installed and ready to go, you're going to want to launch it. And when you start Utopia Angel, Normally a splash screen pops up. I don't know why it didn't pop up. But with that splash screen, there will also be uh, little tools and hints. You can disable those at startup, no big deal. But down here in your little system tray area, you're going to see this little crystal ball. That means it is up and running. All right, from there, you log in to your Topia game. And you can hit Control-A and then Control-C and it just copied everything on that page and put it on this little clipboard with some more information that does not actually show up here for instance it'll show you how much stealth you have how much total offense you have per acre defense per acre so on and so forth so that could be useful to you um, other than that it's really more useful for utopia pimp you can also do that with your military Control A, Control C, and here's where it gets real useful for you if you don't use PIMP. You go to Buildings, and Control A, Control C. This little thing pops up. You can just close out the clipboard after you're done looking at it. And we'll expand this. What you can do is you can set up the goal percentage with all these buildings. Alright, so say you want to build 30% mills. You just Put in 30%, whatever. Just make sure it equals 100% or less than 100%. You can't go over 100%, obviously. So once you put in your goal percentage, you can compact it, and all the buildings you don't need disappear, and just the ones you do need stay on here. And then it tells you how many you have, or how many you need to build, and how many you have. And it also shows you the effects of what all those buildings do. You can also do that with sciences. Control A, Control C. Close that out after you're done reading it. It'll show you how much you can learn in green, how much you're in the process of learning in the light blue, how much is known in the dark blue, and unlearned in white. And then you can see how the cursor becomes a crosshair. You can move that up and down these bars, and it'll show you this information what the bonus is if you learn this much so like if you turn your military to this much or to a full you get 29.5 percent science bonus which is a pretty cool tool to use um, all this information should fill out automatically for you if you control a control c at the throne screen you can also use this when you're running uh, thievery operations. Anytime you do a spy on whatever or a survey, you can. E I think you can even use it on Snatch News. I don't know. I don't. I haven't done that one yet. But you can use it on this, and especially on Spy on Throne and Spy on Military. That's how you get to use the military calculator here. It'll automatically fill in this information, and as long as you uh, control A, control C, your military, this information will fill out automatically. You can change however many 
skeletons, goals, or whatever race you are. You can change whatever whatever of these you need to change it to as long as you don't go over what you have. And see, now that I dropped it down to 477 instead of 777, my chance for success dropped to 96.2 instead of 100%. And like I said, this fills out automatically, this fills out automatically. All you need to do is adjust if your army is way too strong and you don't want to send everybody, you can drop it. If you're going against a stronger target, this will go anywhere from zero to whatever. Um, obviously, like I said, you drop it down to here, this turns blue, meaning you have a good chance of success, but it's not guaranteed. Drop it down to here, it turns pink, which means you have a bad chance. Down here, zero, it turned black, meaning you have no chance. You can also do this in the war room. Obviously, I've already attacked. Uh, I don't know why I went there, but you can do this in the war room, too. Once you pick your target and attack, the screen pops up showing if you succeeded or failed. You can control A, control C, that. And all that really is is some useful information for pimp showing the size of uh, the army you use to attack your target so that way anyone else can estimate how much they need. All right, so now how to use actually use this with pimp. Now first, you go to utopiapimp.com. You don't need to worry about all this fun junk and I'll put this in the description as well. It's just utopiapimp.com. And this page will pop up. I already have my information in here, but for you, you're going to have to register if you don't already have an account. All you got to do is put in an email address, your password, your username, that fun junk. Then you're going to click login once you actually get all that information. Now from here you'll start on the tool screen. From the tool screen you're going to click join a kingdom. Unless you're the monarch and then you're going to want to add my kingdom first. But uh, chances are you're not the monarch so just click join a kingdom. Now from here your kingdom or your monarch of your kingdom should have sent you pimp codes. Here's your province name, like here's my province name right there. And then this is your code. You just copy and paste that. And you click join a kingdom and you put that code right there and click join kingdom. That's all you have to do to get Utopia Pimp started. Now to actually use Utopia Pimp with Utopia Angel, click on this help button down here. And then you also want to go to Utopia Angel and go to Form Agent. And then click on Settings. I already have it set up, but we're going to set up a new one. Just click on New. And you get to this screen. Now display name, you can put whatever you want in display name. That's just what that's just what this name is right here. Like I just have it set up as pimp, no big deal, whatever, but you set it up as help, form, whatever you want to set it up as, that's the display name. The URL is this URL right here. You just copy and paste that. Now let me actually copy and paste it for you. Control C and Control V and there you go. There's that. Now, here's where it gets a little complicated. The form name, this field right here, it's the exact name of your province inside your kingdom. So my province name is Decadia. So you would just type in or copy and paste that to right there. Now for the username and password, the username is the exact username you use to log in the pimp. So whatever whatever username you chose for Utopia Pimp, that's the username you put right here. Same with the password. Whatever password you put in for Utopia Pimp in order to get into it, it's the exact same password you put here. Now obviously I'm not going to type these in so that way you guys don't get my password. You guys might have got my username already, no big deal, but you just put those in there, click OK when you're done, and then it'll be right here. Make sure there's check marks here. Another good thing is to make sure this is checked. 
to automatically send every five minutes. You can change it to whatever you want, but five minutes is usually a good time. And then you can do what you want with this. This stuff's not really that important. But this is the important one right here. So once all that is said and done, you click apply and then click OK. And then you can close this out, no big deal. Now when you control A, control C, anything in Utopia the game, and you get a clipboard, that clipboard is shown in the form agent right here and if you have it set up it'll automatically send in five minutes if you don't want to wait the five minutes and you want to send the stuff now just click send intel now and there you go and utopia pimp if you click on general you'll see all these things up here you're gonna see red ones which means it was updated a long time ago you're gonna see white ones which means it's never been updated and you'll see different color color green ones the bright green means it was updated very recently like updated nine seconds ago updated four minutes ago blah 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 if you hover over it long enough it'll tell you when it was updated and then as it gets a darker green it means that it's been a long time since someone's updated this information and as you can see my kingdom is kinda of slacking on using utopia pimp but if you ever get uh it says crystal balls but now it's uh spy on thrones they've changed that in the game but uh if you ever get Chris, uh spy on thrones for other kingdoms they go in the kingdomless provinces and then you're going to see what kingdom they belong to what race what personality the name of their province and then la la la, la you can just click on any one of these and this information will pop up. Now obviously it was red so this information is out of date. But you can use this to attack. Like say I want to attack these guys. All I have to do is go to military calculator. And now I can add in all these things. Like, Alright, they're avian. They have... Where are their soldiers? There they are. They have 4,849 soldiers. They have no harpies. Oh, no, they have 5,222 harpies. No drakes. Peasants, they have 5,851 of those. You can check on those don't check on those it depends on whether or not it's a race that uses peasants as defense their building efficiency 92 percent their personality they're a rogue which I don't believe rogue is on here nope so you don't need to worry about that it's other and right now no relations now as you can see if I were to use my soldiers, max mercenaries, max prisoners, send all five of my generals, I would not stand a chance against this guy. So it would be kind of dumb for me to send my army after him. That's one of the many uses that Utopia Pimp, along with Utopia Angel, has. And I hope this video helped you guys out a little bit into understanding how this stuff works. If you have any questions or comments, please email me or leave them below. And uh, other than that, have fun and have a good day.